So we left off last time thinking this was the coolest thing ever. I can do better. No more. Something like 1984 could actually happen. Gorn is a fighting game in the style of... Well, I guess the best way to describe it honestly is it's quite a lot like boxing for the Wii. Which I know isn't the greatest achievement because the Wii in one swift movement destroyed everything I ever believed in and marked the true end of my childhood when Nintendo became another cog in the machine where they just exploited the fact that they could basically sell a product on the false premise of innovation rather than actually being an engaging and interesting console. Gorn is a game where you hit people with weapons and shit. It feels so much fun to hurt people, it's genuinely a little concerning. Yes. I recommend it. That's it. That's all I've got. That's why the opening of this video thus far has been so fucking irrelevant. No, 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 don't, don't go, I can give you more. I can answer some simple questions about it. Here we go. Is the game good? Yes. Is the VR immersive? Well... Well, honestly, I'd say it's too immersive. That is not an answer! Look, this game is fucking dangerous. Like, accidentally punching your cat in the face and smashing through a TV dangerous. Oh, for fuck's sake! I love my TV and my cat's okay here, so he's fine. But after just 10 minutes of playing Gorn in a pretty big living room... I went full force, controller first, straight into my TV, which I have never even gotten close to doing while playing VR before, including Fallout 4 VR, which I've played for over 35 hours because I enjoy torturing myself. You completely lose yourself when playing Gorn, and I know I've spoken about how this happens in Fallout 4 VR, but in that game, what I mean is everything has been converted into 3D really well for a game with such large environments. However, even though it looks great, it is a little fuzzy once you concentrate 5-10 meters in front of you. The whole world isn't HD quality unless your computer was built by Doc fucking brown. And although this sounds like it would be annoying, this is pretty normal for a really large VR game and is honestly good enough to have an absolute blast. Gorn says fuck you to all of this and runs perfectly with no issues at all, like a real game you paid money for. <laughs> the result of this is a compact, insanely crazy, high definition space that is so crystal clear that your brain immediately starts filling in the gaps in your memory of where you are in your house with this new location and things start to get a little fucking screwy. Help. The animations are fluid, the frame rate is high, and the fighting mechanics are as impressive as Minecraft's former lead programmer. Top notch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Welcome to cooking with Up Is Not Gourmet Cooking. First, remove the head. You don't want that swimming around in your stew. Then get a blunt instrument, say a mace or a giant hammer, and then just go to town on the chest for a few minutes. Oh, very good, it's fucking exploded. The flavor in there will be something special. We actually need a little bit more face in this dish, so we'll just slice this off. Perfect. I mean, you want Skyrim VR? More like blurry glitch rim VR. Just get this game and shoot arrows into people's faces here instead. Now I haven't played Skyrim VR because it appears that after giving Skyrim and Bethesda the elixir of fucking immortality in the form of 56,000 mods allowing them to project their game into a perpetual motion machine of pure fucking profit, they said, you know what, we could try to release it on PC as a thank you to our fans and modders, but oh no, my pen slips and I just signed an exclusivity deal with Sony because of money or something. But no, Gorn is not the flail around hitman till he falls down style of melee combat that it is in Skyrim. This is the real deal. I know you, you want to go ape shit on a fellow human being with hopes and dreams and you want him to feel that shit. You want that arrow to ruin someone's face so bad that their wife couldn't identify their moderately warm core. It just works. But no, it actually does in this game. But is it too good? Are you going to accidentally bludgeon to death a loved one that foolishly crosses your path? Maybe. Or carve scratches into your walls with your- Yes. Or perhaps just completely destroy your controllers altogether. This of course isn't the game's fault unless you want me to go totally fucking crazy and start lending genuine criticism to a game for being too good. Look, let's get this out of the way. If you have a VR headset and you like violence, which you do because of, you know, evolution, buy the game, buy it now. Hitting stuff couldn't be more... Your weapons impact with everything, including the ground. The sound design and controller vibrations sound and react exactly how you would expect to all impacts. Throwing weapons works flawlessly. Fuck! And all of the character models react perfectly to every kind of impact you make with them. This, combined with the exceptionally fun, fast-paced gameplay, the incredible 3D, and the near HD graphics, means if you want to have a fun time hitting shit with maces and shit, it's worth £15 
all day long, mate. But all of this leaves you so immersed in the game, it's borderline dangerous to play. You see, when you're setting up VR in a room, you draw the boundaries of the room and save them onto your computer. Then when you're playing, if you go too close to a wall, the boundaries appear on the Vive display, so you know to maybe take a step back. Take a step back! It's a really cool feature, and to make it even better, when you look at it, it's all a little bit like the Star Trek holodecks. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> When you're playing Gorn though, you still see these barriers, but your brain is telling you, no, it's safe, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. How could there possibly be a wall there? You're in a spacious open arena, now punch forward as hard as you possibly can into your TV. Thanks, brain. I particularly like how you can grab people so they stop squirming while you expertly impale them. You can even use this to reenact the end of Gladiator. The biggest concern for me altogether though is that I'm turning into a fucking serial killer. Yesterday I was in the park and I saw a stick and I immediately thought this would be great for killing people. I first began to feel this way when I started setting fire to fellow sentient beings in Fallout 4 and I felt nothing good. In Gorn, I'm effectively lifting my own arms, holding what as far as my brain can tell is a large hammer, and absentmindedly bashing my way through a human face, all the while dead inside, welcoming the sprays of viscera. This holds no purpose. He's already dead, Matt. Keep going. And an extra special thank you to Jason Winstanley, Loke Sumberg, Jerry the Hero, Lizalek, Christopher Valenze, Austin Howard and Trent for your extremely generous donations. Thank you so much guys.